Hi guys. <laughs> um, it's Thursday, February 7th or something like that. And it's my Way in Wednesday video. I know it should have been up yesterday. This has been a really, really, really rough, crazy week for me. I'll explain, but oh, I was, I had everything ready to make my video, but I was just like, just ready to cry all day yesterday. I was like, I can't make a video like this. This is just not good. Today, I got to sleep in. I got to recuperate a little bit. It'll be okay. It will be okay. But if I cry, sorry guys. So, I am like 12 and a half weeks pregnant crazy. I can't even believe that. Like, crazy, crazy. And I'm super excited, but life has been just super stressful. Um, if you watched my videos, you know, my husband, he got hurt at work. He hurt his back. Um, and he works for the railroad. So he was out for like three weeks ish. Um, and he had to get okayed by the chiropractor. And then he had to go get okayed to go back to work from the doctors associated with his work. He got, <laughs> finally got like checked out and everything. He got to go back to work on Saturday and he came home from work and we were supposed to come over um, to the people that I nanny for and they were having a birthday party that night and he comes in and he's like, oh, my legs just hurt so bad, like really sore. And I was like, like crampy, maybe you need some vitamins, maybe you need some magnesium or eat some bananas, get some potassium. And like, trying to go about this like the healthy way whatever and then he's like it hurts so bad he had to leave early he went home he like took some vitamins like laid down a little bit the next day he didn't have to work and he was just like so 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 sore I, he was in so much pain he could barely walk around he could barely do anything and monday it was the same thing he wasn't supposed to go back to work until wednesday it was like a weird rotating schedule so Tuesday, his friend calls up and wanted his help, and he was like, oh, I'm going to go help him. I was like, I think you might have a blood clot. I was like, you're a smoker, which ups your risk for that. I was like, all the symptoms seem to be like, he had said that's kind of hard, and he like, he put a heat pack or ice pack or something on it, and it felt better, and he took it off. It just, it hurt him so bad. And so I was like, go to the doctor, just go to the doctor. I was like, I don't want anything to happen to you if you have a blood clot. We all know if you've had a weight loss surgery. Or like one of the leading causes of death afterwards is getting a blood clot and having it travel to like your lungs or your heart or something like that and you could die. So I'm sitting there, me and my anxiety, we're best friends. I was like, please go in, please go in. He goes, if it still hurts by tomorrow, I'll go into the doctor. So that morning he came to get my car, did some stuff to it and he brought it back and he goes, it's still just really hurting. I think I'm going to go try to get into the doctor. So he texts me about an hour before I get off work and he's like yep I have a blood clot and I was like oh my gosh like I'm sitting there freaking out and I was like oh uh, does that mean he's still in the hospital what is happening so like I get home Tuesday night and it had already been a very stressful day at work um their dog has had the little puppy has had diarrhea all weekend and so it's been like pooping on the floor and pooping in the kennel and I'm here so I get to clean up the mess and give the dog a bath and so it's already been a crazy day at work and I get home and I'm so worried about him like I was upstairs and I have to go to bed decently early because I have to get up for work at 6 a.m. I have to be at work at 6 a.m. on Wednesday <sighs> sorry if I'm rambling about all this other stuff and you just want to hear about the weight stuff just skip forward a few minutes but anyway like I, he wasn't up in bed and he wasn't up in bed and I was freaking out as I was like, what if I go down in the morning and he's dead and I find him dead and like my anxiety just starts freaking out. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I need to go check on him and make him come up to bed because I cannot sleep like this. And it's like 11 o'clock and I go downstairs and I was like, please come upstairs. I was like, I can't sleep and I'm worried about you. And so he, he comes up and whatever and I just start bawling. I was like, we just got married, we've got a baby on the way, we've got a four-year-old child, I can't, like, I can't handle things without you, like, I just, hormones, pregnancy hormones, life, stress, 
Like, he's already been out of work three weeks. He went back for one day, and he's out for another who knows how long. Just stressful. And I was like, I don't want him to die. Like, that's all I kept thinking. So, <laughs> it's like after midnight, Tuesday night before I go to sleep. Then, the next day, yesterday, worst day ever from start to finish. The whole day was horrible. Like, I couldn't even believe it. I got up. I got to work on time. Got there at 6 o'clock. And their dog had already pooped in the kennel. And I have to get all their kids ready for school. And it was like a ski trip for the big kids. And the, the one kid couldn't go. He's in kindergarten. He could not go unless one of his parents went. So the mom, who's a nurse, like switched her schedule, like got off of work so that she she got off work in the morning, had no sleep, went with them to go skiing. And uh, she ended up forgetting all of the new stuff that she had just bought at Walmart at home. So she got to the ski place, had to drive all the way back home, pick up his stuff, go back. The dog ended up pooping in her kennel like two times, peed in her kennel twice. Like I have to keep taking her out, cleaning her up. And I'm taking her potty all the time. It was very rough with that. But I was trying to do some stuff in the morning. I had like my notebook and my planner sitting on their table. And I had a big glass of water, ice water. I went to pick up the little kids from school, which is like 11 o'clock. And I get back home and the cats had spilt my giant thing of water all over the table, all over my notebooks, all over my planner, all over the floor, everywhere. <sighs> Be, hold on a second or you can come with me I'm making them a blueberry cobbler <laughs> the perks of having a nanny who likes to bake okay hold on one second okay so anyway like it was literally one thing after another after another after another all day long I could not even handle it I was like this is too much for me life is like just way too stressful I was like I'm not making a video today and I'm really late on my um, pregnancy update video, but whew, it'll all be okay. It'll all be okay. Dropping everything on the floor. I don't know. Life has just been nuts. So, so sorry, guys. Cheapers. My little story of <laughs> the stress in my life has gone on for like seven and a half minutes. So sorry. If you're here just about the weight loss stuff. Oh. <sighs> put the intro at the beginning of my um, pregnancy vlog, but I'll just tell you again, just in case. My high weight, 333. Um, the lowest weight I ever reached, 157. My happy range that I stayed at for a good while was 160 to 165. After Thanksgiving and wedding reception, my weight was about 168. And now I am 12 and a half weeks pregnant, and I am at at 174.2 or something today which oh yesterday it was at 175 and I was like <sighs> which I need to really I'm very very hard on myself and especially having a YouTube channel where I talk about my weight loss surgery and everything I feel like I need to be a really good example and I feel like don't screw up and now that you're pregnant don't gain too much weight do it just right so that people can see <sighs> being pregnant especially at the beginning you feel like crap all the time and half the time you just want to eat to not feel like crap like eat carbs eat crackers eat toast eat all that stuff and I was like oh my gosh like I have so much pressure on myself to like don't gain too much weight you're eating things you shouldn't be eating and it's it's very hard and adds extra stress and I'm like just think about this like when I lost a lot of weight previously, I'd lost like 90-ish pounds on my own before weight loss surgery. I got down to the lowest I'd ever been as an adult before, and I got down to 187. I was working out all the time. I felt great about myself. And now that I've had weight loss surgery and I've reached the 150s, like, I feel like my weight's like so much more big deal. It's like, you are thinner than you ever were before. Like, even now, at 12 weeks pregnant, at 174, like, just, I need to cut myself a little slack. Not a lot, because I still need to be careful. But I'm, like, stressing myself out. I get so worried when I see the scale go up to another number higher than it's been. It is stressful. Like, I really thought, you're going to be so happy that you're pregnant that you're not even going to care that the scale goes up. But we have been looking at the scale, like, every day, some of us. 
when you're like, stay down. If your weight goes up a pound or two, you got to do something about it. I'm like, the scale's going to keep going up and I just need to be okay with it. I just need to calm, calm the F down. And it's so weird because you've got your weight loss surgeons and all those specialists. And then I've got my OB and she does that specialty. I wish that we had a weight loss surgery OB specialist that I could go to and I'm like, how many, exactly how many calories am I supposed to eat in a day to be, have a healthy pregnancy, but I've had gastric bypass, so I can't, it's just crazy. I wish that there was more people on YouTube that documented their pregnancies after weight loss surgery. There's some, but that's why I'm doing it. Like, you can see the struggles mentally, physically, the food that I'm eating. I'm going to try, maybe start on Sunday or something, maybe Saturday, I'm not sure. But I want to do what I eat in a week to like just let you know. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. Because so I feel like it's a craft storm. It's like I'm either eating a Little Debbie or I'm eating a fruit smoothie like I had for breakfast this morning. And it's really hard to be okay <laughs> when, I, when I've done something really naughty. Eating something that I know is on the no-no list. But I was like... I did it. Don't tell anyone. You guys need to see. I'm a pregnant lady and I have cravings and I do the wrong thing sometimes and then I'm trying really hard to do the right thing. It's just how it's working out. <sighs> but things just have been insane and I, I've realized that my emotional eating is not all taken care of. I still go to counseling. I'm still working on it but I know when I got the text saying that Dennis had a blood clot, I was like, I'm eating a little Debbie and as I'm eating it I was like this is totally emotional right now you're not eating this because you need it you're not eating it because you're hungry you're just eating it because this is what you used to do you used to be stressed out and you tried to comfort yourself with the food and I can't do that I need to continue to work on that it's something I'm struggling with but guys if you could please keep my husband in your prayers about his blood clot it's really stressing me out Oh, and doing the potty training with their puppy at work. That's been hard and rough, and especially when the dog has, like, diarrhea. And then, like, last week, my dog was sick and puking. And, yeah, it's just been a rough week, week and a half. So, yeah, please keep us in your prayers. But I'm super happy that I'm pregnant. It just... It is rough to deal with after having weight loss surgery. It's very emotionally draining. Um, but yeah, I'm just sharing it all with you guys. I hope you're all doing good. I hope this week takes a turn for the better. <sighs> and I'll talk to you guys soon. Love y'all. Bye. Okay guys, scary update. Dennis just called me. And I guess now the blood clots have moved to his lungs and he is in the hospital at least overnight tonight to be monitored. I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> oh, hopefully everything will be okay. I'm still at work. <laughs> I have to wait till I get off and then go see him. Talk to you later. Bye. Um, even if, I, if he does have to stay in and somebody needs to sit up here with him, I can, well, Joe Beth will be available after 12, too, so. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. We just got home from the hospital checking on Daddy. Um, he's in there for sure overnight. We will see tomorrow what the doctors say, but it's been a very long and stressful day. I'm going to go take a bath. Little Munchkin sleeping in my bed tonight. She's got school in the morning. So, hope you all are doing better than we are tonight. Love you. Oh, I don't know if I've explained. He has a blood clot. In both lungs now and still in his leg. That's what's happening. I'll keep you guys informed. Bye.